like it might be pretty tough, but you know, uh, as a player, it's something you got to get through. You got to uh, focus on uh, recovery after the game and uh, just being ready to play. Well, Terrence said after the last game he thought it might be too much to ask you know, for it. Well, I mean, it might be, but like I said, you can't really, if you're put in that situation, there's nothing you can really do. You can't make excuses about it. You got to go out and play through it. You know, even if you're tired, you know, that's the situation you put in, you got to live with it. You know, you've obviously played a lot of minutes. How are you holding it? I'm all right. I'm fine. Uh, I'm still in the training room trying to get treatment and make sure I'm all right for practice and stuff like that. So, uh, I'm going to go for it. It's nice seeing you guys smiling and having fun. How much of a, uh, how important is that when you guys are out there, especially when you're in a hostile environment like Tennessee? Oh, uh, it's important to have fun because, uh, you know, having fun and, you know, things start to break down, not go the right way, you have your attitude. So, the best thing is just to have fun, you know, I think that helps to flow the game and helps the team to uh, vibe. What do you remember about the Tennessee game up here? Tell you again? What do you remember about the Tennessee uh, game? Just that uh, I think we, we got out to a pretty good start, I, I remember correctly. And uh, did a pretty good job rebounding. We executed. I think we played a pretty good game here. Um, we played against you, you mentioned about going into the trainers room. What exactly do you need treatment for? Uh, just making sure you, you know, get the cold tub, make sure your legs are restored. That's uh, what the cold tub does? Yeah, just bring your legs back and uh, you know, work on your knees. Beach, stuff like that. How long do you stay in the cold tub to get this restoration? Oh, probably like 15, 15 minutes. Is it ice cold with ice in there? No, it's just it's like a, a cold. Yeah. It's not as cold as like you know you put the water and put ice, a bunch of ice in it. But it's pretty cold. <laughs> right, obviously the wind is important for a lot of reasons. Is there part of you that wants to get that road monkey off the back before the season's over and get the last one? Yeah, definitely. Just uh, you know, pretty I'll say that we can do it. And uh, just because you want to win, you want to win all your games. So of course I want to get this guy win. Brandon, Coach was saying the other day, it wasn't real surprised to us, but that he's almost everything he says in the media is done for effect for you guys to read, hear about all those things. How much do you maybe uh, look at stuff in the media, newspaper, online, and do you know that he does that? To be honest, I know he, he says stuff for us to read or to, to see or hear, but to be honest, I don't really look at newspapers. Uh, online, you don't read Jerry's articles? <laughs> yeah, I don't read online articles. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, I, kind of, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just stay away from that stuff. I just, you know, uh, only thing I look at in newspapers is basically pictures, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the pictures and that's, that's about it. What are you, I mean, not Time afraid, but what, 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 what are you wary about if you were to read? I don't worry about anything, it's just that, uh, no, I don't really, sometimes it's negative stuff, sometimes it's positive stuff. But, um, I don't really focus on what people are saying, just uh, know that I have my goals.